at this second hundred year birthday, uh, we thought that we would extend a, a cause we were very passionate about, and that has been to set aside and protect as much of the natural beauty of this state as we can forever for the benefit and enjoyment of future generations. So last October, Governor Daniels appointed 15 highly talented leaders from throughout the state to serve on this commission. And then a few months later in January, and it was during his State of the State address, he announced the state's creation of the Bicentennial Nature Trust. And on that night, he said, state government will set aside $20 million for this trust fund. The trust fund will be used to uh, provide a match to local communities and organizations that pursue new or expanded parks, trails, and wetlands. And he also announced at that time that we expected to receive many private contributions of land and money toward this effort. This particular acquisition is so remarkably unique to me. Uh, first of all, the property itself is spectacular. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to be one of them at some point, but I'm very jealous in advance of all the folks who are going to come down and rent those cabins and have probably the, the most peaceful and idyllic getaway they possibly could. But the fact that this particular property is so remarkable, and then most important at all, the man who's given it, and the man who is, has uh, given us this opportunity to come here and uh, committing this beautiful uh, treasure to the future of our state is just so in keeping with the life that you have led with the fervent thanks of everybody here, everybody who will come here in the generations ahead, and really every Hoosier who's gonna hear about this. Um, on their behalf, let me say thank you, and Ed Whitcomb, would you grace us with just a few words of your own, please? I've been down in this part of the woods for some time, and one day I was walking across uh, north of the Ohio River down here, six miles downstream, <clears throat> and I sat on a rock and I looked out across the river and up the river and I saw a sight unlike anything I had ever seen. It was the most beautiful. And I thought, you know, I, when I bought this property, I thought I was 10 years younger than I am now and, and I never thought about being my age now. But then I... <laughs> I uh, sat there and I thought about where would a person find a piece of property like this if he wanted to buy one? And the answer is pretty clear. You wouldn't. You wouldn't if you went up and down this river and you could have a million dollars in a bag. You couldn't buy anything compared to that.